Hi, in this episode we're going to do a quick song sketch in Logic Pro using only the Apple loops and some of the built-in sounds that comes with the Logic Pro. I think it's a really good learning experience to give yourself time constraints. So today we'll be using the Apple loops, a few MIDI instruments, and we're going to give ourselves roughly four to five minutes to finish up this little song sketch. So with the headphones on, let's start the timer and see what we can come up with. First we go to the Apple loops to the right side here, filter by beats and uh, find the little beat. You can see that the original tempo of the beat is 85 BPM. We don't want to import the tempo here, but uh, since it's Apple loops, they will conform to your product tempo. So let's set the product tempo to 100 and repeat this beat for eight times. And we add some bass. Command R to repeat that four times. And we need a little synth fill, so we go to synths. And put that as an intro. Then we can select this and press Command R to repeat that four times. Now we have a little bit of intro here. Let's go ahead and add an instrument, the MIDI track, and go to uh, Synths, Plucked, Rhythmic, and select the Carbon Particles. Press uh, Shift R so we get that as a MIDI clip. Press uh, Q to quantize. And the Command R to repeat this twice. And maybe add a melody on top of this. And Shift R to get that as a MIDI clip. Okay, so hold it, let's stop the watch and uh, at 3 minutes 22 seconds we managed to come up with a quite nice little song sketch here. We could definitely continue and work on this and maybe add some ear candy to the top end, some sizzle, maybe some cymbals, a little bit more percussion, maybe add a B part and then some guitars and vocals. And we would actually come up with a quite uh, nice little song. Right, so with this I just want to show you that you can super quickly come up with great uh, small song sketches in Logic Pro by just using the Apple Loops, take maybe 5-10 minutes to do this uh, kind of quick song sketches, and you can actually come up with uh, quite nice uh, workable ideas. Right, so let's now dive deeper into the functionality of Logic Pro in the next episode. Bye!